on the slot. Looks big. Val score. Five to go in the power play. Riley faked the shot into the skates and back in down low in the slot. Good oh. save off oh. Lee. Right at the end of the penalty. And if you're not in great position, if the goaltender here, there's no way you don't stop the puck. I mean, boy, oh boy. And the Islanders are going to go for two on the power plane without a shot on the last one. In comes Barzell. Knocked off his stick. Taken by Sherratt. Knocked off his stick right in. And they score. Nice Brock touch. Nelson on a stolen puck gets his team leading 26th goal. Just lifted this baby up underneath the crossbar. Was a who I got it, you take it. He stole it right off the stick of Ben Sherratt. It's not a turnover, it's a takeaway basically. Hit Sherratt's skate. He never did get possession after that. And a nice little lift by Brock Nelson to open the scoring in this game. Paul Mary with a shot wide. Good lift to the stick to keep control in front. Oh, what a what save! A oh, what a stop! Point oh, blank on Kyle Paul Mary, set up beautifully by Anders Lee. What a save by Alex Lyon to keep it just one nothing. Lyon will move it. Strong's got it. Kept in by Dobson. Now for Engvall. With Sezikis. Engball turns in the corner. Back for Dobson. Pellick shot. And it found its way to the back of the net. Yep. Redirected. Completely Sezikis. changed directions. They're checking it. Should be fine. Right off the shaft to the stick. Ooh, that angle looks a little more close to the crossbar. And it is crossbar. Normally knocked down by a high stick at shoulder height. Uh, when the puck goes in, it's crossbar, yeah. but it looks to be okay. That one there, it doesn't look so bad. So yeah. It's 2 nothing Islanders, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And they're up 8-3 in shots on goal. Red Wings had a lot better. Snyder, 25 to go in the period, 5 to go in the power play. Back across to break it across. Oh, and off the skate of Fabry. They try jamming it in. It's a goal line stand. Oh, my God. Puck still loose. Oh. Race down ice here for to break it across to Larkin. Back for to bring it again. Dylan Larkin with it. Larkin up front alone. Save made. Oh, loose puck to bring it. There by at the Islanders. That play gets a scoring chance. And Larkin trying to go high. The end of a mass. I got to think I feel they need the next goal in this game. The way the Islanders are playing. Hey. And with Sorokin in net. Here's Perron. Mata scores! There you go, good call! It's not, it was a, a bad break for Sorokin. He never got the puck. That started it off. He wanted to make the play. There's the fan by number 90. You see Mata coming into your screen right now? Right there. And then he's at the top of the dot. And I don't know if this puck hit somebody in front of Sorokin or not. He's kind of surprised. It might have hit somebody. It's a great day for hockey, as Mr. Johnson said a long time ago. Yes, Every day. Yes, sir. Badger Bob. Third period underway. Here comes Kane. Kane right in on goal. He scores! Patrick Kane. Ten seconds into the third. We're tied. Blocker side. Larkin makes the play on the boards with the defenseman. Pellick turns the puck over. <clears throat> Kane picks up the loose puck. Could have made a pass. They took that away, and he said, you know what? I'm going myself. Why not? 
That Petrie, I think, might have stuck his stick in there as well. He almost faked the backhand pass right over there to break it. But up, and then bingo. He leans on it and goes blocker side to tie this game. Middle of the pack is the Islanders' power play this season. Their third try of the game. Palmieri in a save by Lyon. Nelson couldn't get a shot. Dobson across. Off the skate. Back into the slot now. Dobson back in front for Palmieri. Missed it. Over there is Barzell. Nelson fires and scores. Brock Nelson with his second of the night and 27th of the season. But good puck movement by the Islanders. Detroit did, did regroup after all that. Good play, but that's a great pass across. And uh, there you go, short side top. A couple of really good opportunities for the Islander power play. Oh, yeah. Did lots of time. You can't get back and cover everybody when you're short-handed. Wallman's got to take the guy in the front of the net. By the time he gets... As Kane goes for a change, Gossespierre spinning around off the bench. The shot by Sprong up high. He's got it again and hit a leg. Sprong got in the way of Barzell. He's got Barzell again. Sprong's got it. Drops it back to Gossespierre with room. Take the shot, Mata. He scores! Oh, my! Mata's got two! And it's 3-3! Well, the Islanders thought they had it clear, but Detroit had possession inside that blue line for a long time, so much so that Patrick Kane went for a line change. And then the Sorokin just cannot get back as there's so much traffic in front. Strong had the puck twice. I think Sorokin was looking for that shot, and he never saw what was going on because I'm trying to figure out who was in front of him. Is that Fisher? I think it was Fisher that completely screened Sorokin. We'll have to hide for fourth from the Blue Line Brigade. Into the slot, Perron firing. Oh, Sorokin the save. Wow. Before back home to face the Coyotes, March the 14th. Sider. Couldn't get it out. Kept in. Pellick, Dobson. Into a crowd. Loose puck. Barzell back in front off center and they score. Barzell banked it to the front of the net. And a fortuitous bounce for the Islanders. Barzell. Can throw the puck to the front of the net. Again, it was a mad scramble. It goes underneath him from the left or from the left corner on Lyon. Somehow the puck came loose. And there underneath him. Hit it with his left skate, I believe, right there, yep. Left skate and knocked it back in. Three at their blue line is what yeah. it means. Here's the brink and across. Oh, what a save. And off the outside of the post. He shoots it in. Larkin hustling in after. Pellick tying it up for the Islanders. Sezikis around to Holmstrom. And Engel's going to end it. Five to three, the empty net goal. Pierre Engvall has had a, a big night. Number 18 for the Islanders. He has. Winning streak's going to come to an end, and the Islanders are going to get a much needed two points. Well, they're coming to this game, 10 back of Detroit, so they haven't given up. Yeah, it's a long road back to a playoff spot. And they're really chasing down the Metro in Philadelphia. As this game comes to a close, the Islanders win 5-3. Red Wings live post game with Mickey Redmond joining Chris Osgood.